Morning everyone, it is Saturday. Um, my name is Dawn and later on you'll see my other half and partner in crime, Dave. Right now I am just walking Edith. It's gone, well it's about quarter to eight right now. We were meant to be going to a yard sale, a real large yard sale, but we've, but we've decided not to um, for certain reasons. A, we've got so much stock and it's just so pointless going we've got so much we've got a unit full we've got sheds full we've got a front room full and other areas full so me and Dave have been working this week to empty it out and stock it all up and make car boot stuff up and so we've been really busy on that front so we've decided not to go to that one because it is an hour away plus we're meant to have severe rain um, about 90% rain I think it is I'm just watching what my little girls do so um, instead, we this morning. So right, I'm watching her because she's so fussy. I don't know if everyone has a dog like mine. She's so fussy where she goes. She won't just do it. We have to walk about everywhere. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to stop you for a minute and concentrate on her. Instead, this morning we need to go up to the recycling centre to take some more rubbish that we've got out of the house and then we thought we'd go and pop to a charity shop they're doing a sale on cds and dvds um i think it's like eight for a pound or something we thought we'd go and have a look while we're out and about but we're definitely going to go and do the um, recycling centre so we might get a few goodies there and do your haul from there and also <laughs> she just keeps stopping me don't she and also we might have a little haul from the charity shop not sure we're going to the car boots tomorrow. Might do, not sure. But yeah, um, as you can see, not very nice. But we're up and at them. And plus me and Dave had a day off yesterday. We were both not feeling very well. So we both um, decided just to have a day off. And we both ended up really tired as well. So I actually slept during the day and I never do that. But anyway, I'm going to get on. And I'll see you live guys later. So I do apologise we haven't had many like haul videos. But like I said, we're really, really getting on with clearing our house out. Loading all the stuff on eBay. And just basically trying to get our front room back. Um, I'll have to show you guys just how much she's done. Because I think I put a picture up before and showed you just how much stuff there was. You can actually see some of my back of our city and everything so we really are working hard all right i'll see you later hey, look at him looking all spruce and sexy expect <laughs> over for you my girl <laughs> anyway dave's got a parcel ain't you my lovely uh -huh. what did you sell uh these two Oh, God, which, bloody egg all over them. <laughs> which is that egg for our breakfast and dave's just rubbed nah. but dave paid a pound for them didn't you I did. Nice shoes. And you got? Ten pounds for them. Woohoo! Which is woohoo, because I haven't been selling much, have I not really? No, and that's that's the thing. We haven't been selling much at all this last couple of weeks. But, but we've carried on. Regardless, listening. yes. I did say, look, I'll show them. This is our front room at the moment. And if you remember when we showed you before, this was like really up high. But now you can actually see the wall. So Dave's really been working hard, but these two boxes here, Dave's going to do like a reveal what's in these three boxes, is that right? Yeah, a little one, yeah, because yeah. It's, like, it's interesting to me, it'd probably be like good stuff to sleep into, like, you know, but... But it's stuff that it does sell for Dave, it's like, um, nails and things like that, isn't it? No, it's buckles. Buckles. Like Old-fashioned shoe buckles and things like that. Oh, and Dave, do you want to show him your kettle that you cleaned up the other day? Yeah, this was absolutely filthy. Look how shiny Dave's done that. And what's your recipe for that, Dad, to get that that clean? Well, let me just tell you something. That's not fresh, this kettle it? is the first kettle ever. I've been involved in recycling and house clearance and whatever for about 10 years. But pretty much all my life I've been <laughs> buying and selling. But um, this is the, and I've bought loads of kettles. It's been used. Look, it's full of chalk and that. <laughs> 
I've never ever had one that's been used and it's all dented and everything. It's been well loved. I mean, I was going to leave it because you spoil them really cleaning them. But the thing is, this was really bad, wasn't it? It was loose. They must have done it like on an open fire or something or like an old, I don't know, some sort of straight on the fire jobby. And, uh, well, you couldn't sell it like it, so I had to give it a clean. And I watched this guy put some baking soda in some hot water and soaked it in, uh, like, two or three minutes. And, uh, oh, I might have even got a little bit of film on it, actually. And it was clean. It wasn't quite as clean as that, obviously. You have to wash it after and give it a wipe, and then I just get, hit it with the brass a little bit. Look at that lovely jubbly, huh? <laughs> so I've got to get that on. And that was that. Getting away. I just got told off, so I better do this. Go on, Dave. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> He'll do another one later on, <laughs> at the end of the video. Anyway, better get on. Oh, and by the way, look at that downpouring. We made a good decision not to go to my the yard net, sale. Net, there goes my next door neighbour as well, getting in on the action. So we're really pleased we didn't go. So yeah, better go. Hello guys, we've just been to the charity shop and recycling centre and we've got a few bits. Dave's done well actually on the on the recycling centre. He got a load. Oh thank you. Can you hear Edie giving her parts in because she can't get in the kitchen at the moment because all the stuff's in here. But um we're gonna move him in a minute but I thought I'd just show you what we got. So Dave spent a whole ten pounds in the recycling centre and then how much oh three pound in hang on. Three pound in a charity shop. It's so eager, isn't it? And I spent six pound, six nine pound, nine pound. Wait, let Dave show you what he got because he does this all the time to me, doesn't he? So this is a brand new. It was in the packaging. Someone took it out while I was there, but it's a brand new chef apron, size three XL. So it'll fit. Or it actually fit me. I'm sure it's going to fit Dave. We're going to get you to model it later, aren't we? With nothing on only this. We're going to get about 300 quid for it. <laughs> I don't think anyone will want to see me with no clothes on, I'll tell you. Anyway, anyway I don't want to see myself with no clothes on. Maybe so that's one bit. of the items at the £10 recycling <coughs> centre. Just the £10, the stuff for the £10 recycling centre. And then we'll do the, the track shot one. So Dave's got some brand new in the wrappers, which two of them have got put back in properly for him. Because one was actually, because that one hasn't been put in probably, like the other one. Mm -hmm. Look, they took it out, but it needs to be put in better. Mm -hmm. Brand new, size 42 work trousers. We've sold these before, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah. we know they make money, and they're brand new, with the labels, in the packaging. I actually found the packaging for this one, so I've already put it in back in for Dave. But he needs it anyway to put it off. And um, how much? How much wood do we get for these? I think yeah. we sold them for a bit before. Seven or eight pounds, is it? Something like that? I don't know. Eight, yeah. Eight, I because know, I think the fact, I mean you can get them. There might be a tenner because they're good ones, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And the good thing is, Dave, what is it we said? They can all go as one, one listing because he's got three, so he's got three as the point. We've got bubble wrap. Two bags of Two bags of that, which we've got to take out and dry because it got a little bit wet. Um, we got Edie duvet cover because our lady likes luxury and she dribbles a lot, so we have to replace her constantly. We... Where he's standing right now and where you can see here next to me, what have we got? Dave was so excited. We're so excited. I just get No, 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 no. <laughs> We'll show. I'll show them in a minute. They're they're from the chat. Oh, did one just talk? I don't know. They're meant to talk, but I'll show you in a minute, guys. So this is what we're really pleased with, and we got them in the car. I said that we'd get them in the car. Was Dave was like making sure he got these before because everyone was asking about these. I put them in the car for a paid for them, didn't I? Yeah. Bless me. So we got two. Two. Which you can see the other one underneath me. Two plastic shelving. This all comes under the £10 mark. So these are going to be so handy for you, aren't they? You're just running out of space all the time. 
I've just got to find somewhere to put them now. <laughs> but you put, I think you said you might have an idea where to put them. Yeah, you might have yet. Yeah. I might have put them out. Where? Hey, don't let's look start on camera. Come on. Boy. Where? <laughs> I'm not saying. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think he said that without saying anything. Oh, I don't think you're finished. You've got another few bits, haven't you? We. Not me. And then... These are brand new. These and there's brand four of them. Racket two, cases. Three. Head racket cases. Four. We don't know if they're worth anything, though. But we thought we'd pick them up. Four of them. And then... <laughs> and? And I found that... This outside in the pouring rain amongst other stuff. This is really pretty. It's a Pyrex proper. Oh, Dave, it's from no, water. No, done. Oh, Dave, this is a proper Pyrex one um, with an old pattern around it. It's quite in good nick, actually. It just needs cleaning. There's a bit of dust all around on this one. And the inside of that is really nice, isn't it? What do you think? How much? About tenner? Could be. I know we, we've sold them before. I think our favourite one is the shelving because we need the shelving anyway. And then we'll have to show you the that, charity shops. Is that all we got? No, I've got dolls. Oh, no. I've got some Barbies and brats, I think they are. I've never sold brats before, but they do need their hair and that sort of. We'll just go and get them. Right, I also got a book for myself called The Gypsy Boy, which I thought was quite funny because we know, we know a few gypsies in our life. And one of them was there at the reciting centre and that was sitting outside. I thought that was quite funny. But anyway, loads of brats and Barbies. I like to bundle these up. Um, they're not old. I think they're quite modern, these ones. Yeah, 2005. Brats, some of them haven't got the legs, but I would just say they're like for parts, so people can just put them as parts. Some have got the shoes. I think these are brats. I'm not really sure. I've never sold brats before. Usually Barbies or Cindy's, but brats is a new one on me. One keeps losing her leg. Her foot. Her foot. This one Dave likes to play with, just tiny. And some nice Barbies. I presume that's a Barbie. She's got big lips for a Barbie. That's why I was a bit confused about her, but she definitely looks like a Barbie to me. And then we have the charity shop stuff. Which so is? I got these three um, WWE plush toy things that make a noise. I think they need new batteries. 2011 series, I think they are. Now, £2 each, and I think I'll get about 25 for the three, which I'll be pleased with. <laughs> be good, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll definitely bundle them up, that's why I bought them, but I've got to make sure they work, and they're in really nice condition. There's no stains or anything on them. A lot of hair, though. I don't know if that's my hair or someone else's hair. Probably mine. My hair goes everywhere. And then Dave did get his bargains that he wanted. The eight DVDs for a pound. So... I've actually got four in there because we had to make it up to three pounds. But they did get quite a few. I'll turn them around so he can show you what he got. We don't want to get them all out, do we? No, well, most of them are the same it's this. Same program. Hang on, I haven't turned you around yet. It's so bossy, isn't he? I haven't turned you around, so let me just turn you around. Uh, sharp, I think it says, does it? Yeah, it's a program that used to be on once a week I think it was, late at night, like I 9 o'clock. I think you watched it once or twice but it's not our cup of tea I don't think. Sure. Who's, who's the actor? I can't even think what his name Sean is. Sean somebody. Sean Bean? Sean Bean. Sean Bean. Right there. But, oh you did notice something now, there's two of them that's still sealed. And these are actually, not these ones, but these ones here are still sealed, which means they're not been opened, and they've come from H&M. It's not says, HM. uh, HMV. HMI. HMV. <laughs> right. HMV. So the original <laughs> were forty ninety nine, but then was in the sale for seven ninety nine. Still, st still sealed. The seal has not been broken, so they can actually sell that as brand new because it's not been opened. Are they the same same sets or that? No, they're all. Different. So that's not bad. You can sell them as a set, or you just sell them separately. Yeah. What else did you get, Mr. Murphy? We just some more DVDs. Then we got. Oh, I know, yeah. yeah, let's show them what we got. So we got a load of one foot in the grave, which I think Dave will probably bundle because that's what we've done. A lot of these are for bundling. One foot in the grave. One foot in the grave. Oh, these are mine. 
West Side Story, guys. You know me, I like me old, isn't um, The Italian Job. I don't know what this is. This is like a true story, I think. Promises and Lies, again, for me. This one, I think I've got it, but I'm not sure, so I'll just pick it up. The Malian Streak. More um, sharp. So as you can see, Dave got quite a lot of sharp ones. Oh, Dave got... Can we have something like that one? Bonanza. Is that how you say it? Bonanza. Oh, Bonanza. Fault Towers and oh, my favourite all time actor Dudley Moore. I used to have a crush on him actually when I was younger. Don't know why. Did you hear that? The woman had a crush on him when I was younger. Dudley Moore. Very brave, isn't he? He's not anymore, bless his heart. He passed away ages ago. Fault the Towers and who the hell is that? Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck. Oh, is he out of. Um, Rolling Stones or something? Home and away. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's funny. <laughs> it's full of it, guys. Full of it. So, are you pleased with your little little haul, Dad? Well, it can't be all bad, can it, really? I'll tell you what, my phone's really having trouble focusing today. But, I, I mean, we got quite a lot. We weren't going to... We, I mean, and that recycling centre was empty. They had a clear out, didn't they? We nearly you know, we got out of the car, didn't we? There was nothing in there, but we thought um, we made the best of a good job. Not yeah. even that way around. Even messed, yeah, done something or other. And Dave walked past the plastic shelf and I was like, Dave, look at that. No, I was just pretending. Oh, uh-huh. we did have a good look round though. There was a, a few nice bits in there, but it was like not worth the money kind of thing. But we we was up there for ages waiting for someone to stop talking. And it wasn't us for a change. It's some bloke we know <laughs> before we let him talk. He was trying to wait and see how much we was going to pay, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know this bloke very well. We've known him for quite a long time. And oh, he likes to be nosy. That's the problem. But when he did go, we finally managed to pay for our bits. And we was really pleased with what we got charged. So £10 for all that stuff, apart from the charity shop, is really good. Them shelving themselves are worth more than that. Oh, God, yeah. So, and the bubble wrap was worth friggin' hundreds to us because we were always going through it. I bought more off eBay the other day and I was like disappointed because it didn't look as big as what I was going to get it for. But we're going to go and get the shelving put away so our dog can get through it because she's not happy. She's one of them that don't like things being moved around. So let's they get like sorted. Cool, they? they are. I just got to try and sort them out and see if they work. I think the batteries are dead, but they need like round ones. I've got strange round. I ain't got enough of them. But I'll have a look. But yeah, £2 each I thought was quite good. There is rarer ones that if you ever see them. They're worth, there's one that was on there for, there's our boy coming down. There was one on there worth about, I think it was like 20 or quid on its own. Yeah. It's worth a lot. There's our boy. Here's our son. Look at him, that jacket he got from a vintage... Is it Joe? What they call it? Uh, Pre-loved vintage kilo. Yeah. So, like, I think this one was free because it won. He won it. So, doesn't it look nice on him? He's all handsome devil. He's gone to ha going to have his hair cut today, aren't you, mate? Oh, yeah, I've got to go. Yeah. Oh, he's got to go. So, I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Say bye, Joe. Bye.